Okay, does that look weird? Is that, is that weird? Does that look weird? Okay, that does look really weird and scary. Uh, my partner taught me this trick, that if you're feeling nervous about something or you're feeling down, you put a pencil between your teeth because it forces you to smile. And so changing your physiology will change your mood slightly. So if you do it for a minute or so, forcing yourself to smile will actually, it will actually lift your mood. It's really, really weird, but you have to try it. Just try it next time. I was feeling nervous about doing the video, so I thought, okay. So I did this and I did this for a minute and I don't feel so nervous. So very weird. So just a quick video. I had a revelation just now in the bath, which is where I have all my best revelations and of course you're in the bath so you can't really do much about it at the time. So I wanted to come out and make this video, hence the, the wet hair. So I was in the bath and I was feeling a bit negative about a situation. So I was in the bath and my daughter's asleep and I'm trying to relax and I do, do, a bit, do some meditation, switch my brain off for a bit and I read my book. And I'm thinking, I wish I could be somewhere else, or I wish I was with a certain person. And I had this little revelation, so this little voice kind of said, now's not the time to do that other thing, now's the time to be in the bath, surrounded by bubbles, reading my book. And this is going to sound like such a simple thing, this is going to sound so weird, but I honestly think that could help with any negative situation because often a lot of our negative feelings come about because we're fighting a feeling, we're fighting a thought. So we're in a situation and maybe we're saying, why is this happening to me? Why am I in this situation? Why is it happening this way? Why isn't something else happening? And of course, the reason why something else isn't happening is because it's not supposed to be happening. What's happening right now is absolutely supposed to be happening. No matter how awful it feels, no matter how scary, you might be feeling down, you might be feeling lonely, you might be thinking, why haven't I got a certain person here with me? And the answer is because that person isn't supposed to be here with you at this moment in time. So I think using this phrase, whether it's in your head or out loud, me personally, I like to say things in my head, using the phrase, now's not the time for the other thing, now's the time for this. Whatever your situation is right now, whatever you're doing right now, whether you're sitting doing some work, doing something a bit that you consider a bit boring, whether you're fixing something, whether you're just dealing with a day-to-day -day thing that you'd rather not be dealing with, whether you're doing the shopping and you'd really rather not be doing the shopping, and you're thinking, why am I not at the Bahamas right now? Why am I not on the beach? Well, now's not the time for that. Now's the time for this. But there will be a time for the Bahamas, and you can plan for that. But I think a key thing about being happy and being in the moment and having mindfulness is really, really realising where you are right now. Where are you right now, this moment, and being there in the moment and accepting it. And if we can accept the negative feelings and accept that we're not exactly where we want to be in that moment and we're somewhere else, because that's where we're supposed to be. This is what we're supposed to be doing right now. And I think using that phrase, now's the time for this. Now's the time for heartache now's the time for growth now's the time for confusion because you come through that and there'll be something else at the end of it so very short video just wanted to share that revelation so give it a try next time you're in a situation you find yourself fighting it and you're kind of irritable and you're thinking i shouldn't be doing this i don't want to be doing this you know i'd rather be doing something else I'm tired, I'm whatever, you know, you can say to yourself, okay, well, now's the time, now's the time for this, now's the time 
to sit and rest. Now's the time to be quiet. Now's the time to be on my own. You know, if you're on your own and you don't want to be on your own, you want to be with someone, well, now's the time to be on your own because there will be a benefit. There will be a reason for that. Maybe you're supposed to be learning something on your own. Maybe you're supposed to be studying something. Maybe you're supposed to be catching up on your reading and growing as a person or figuring things out, or taking a new path in life, you know, there'll be something, so give that a try everybody, hope it helps, excuse the crazy hair, and uh, I will catch you all soon, okay, take care guys, bye!